Thank you very much. So why did you guys come to Finnovate? Was it for the food? That's been pretty good so far. Was it for the swag? Also pretty good. <laughs> Chris never made the baseball team. But whatever your other reasons will be, the main reason you guys are here is to meet people, because that's what business is all about. It's about meeting people and making those connections. And the only way to do that is to get out there. Now, with POD, we have cultivated a community of around 5 million professionals. And they're currently using our desktop app. Today, Chris and I are going to show you our up-and-coming mobile app. Now, out of our 5 million user base, there's about 55 million member-to-member -member connections and another 40 million member-to-outsider connections. As we've been building our mobile application, we've been able to take advantage of some really cool features, like artificial intelligence and proximity information to build a really much better product. We think this product will better serve our existing member base. It will allow us to convert that 40 million of outsiders to become members in our system and help grow and scale our business from 5 million to 10 million to 20 million and so on. Now, Chris has just opened up our app and you can see this is beautiful downtown San Francisco and woohoo, there we are. That's Chris and I on the map wearing our, our blue pod shirts. Chris, go ahead, wave. Oh, yeah, version two is the motion-activated waving avatars. We don't have that yet. But there's some other people on the map. Chris has now moved on. This is Karina. Karina is actually one of our members, and she's a realtor. And like most realtors, she gets her business from referrals and by meeting new people. Let's say Chris is in the market for a new house. He can look through Karina's card. This is her digital pod card. It's kind of like a website for her, but without the mess and fuss. Because let's face it, who's got time to keep up with the maintenance of a website? Karina can put properties that she'd like to highlight on there. She can put other information, and she can also put key people she works with, maybe title agents or brokers. Chris can take a look through this information and he might decide, you know what? I'm new to the area, I want to buy a house, I do like what this agent is saying. Chris can then go ahead and request a meeting with Karina. Karina gets that meeting request, and our AI algorithm just got fed breakfast. We now know a bit more information about Chris and what he likes, and that will help us improve how we serve him information later on. Now, what about these blue circles, you might ask? And I think you know us Brits are really kind of famous for our crop circles. But um, <laughs> that was a big one a couple of years back. But no, that's, that's not what it is. These are pods. So let's take a look at a couple of these. And Chris is highlighting a yoga pod. So this is a free event. It's occurring uh, quite soon, and it's close to me. Um, after spending two hours on those little scooters going through San Francisco yesterday, I think I could actually do with a bit of stretching out, so that might be a good one. This one's a bit drier. This is looking at GDPR. And while Chris maybe doesn't want to go to this, what a great way for a law firm to meet new potential clients. And this is a big area affecting all of us. In the financial world, as banks are closing down physical locations and moving to a more online presence, how do they keep that connection with the customer? How do they get their specialists out and able to meet the customers? And that's where POD comes in. All right, Chris, let's have a bit more fun. <laughs> so this is an Avengers Endgame discussion. I don't know how many of you have seen the movie. I've seen it twice. I have a nine-year-old son. It's great. I'm probably going to see it a third time this weekend. I don't know if it's quite that good, but it certainly is a very strong movie. It's another free one. Now, this is an example of a paid pod. In this example, a photographer, a local photographer, is offering a course, and he's looking to charge $20 for it. 
In this scenario, what happens is POD facilitates a peer-to-peer -peer payment between the attendees of this course and the photographer. So enough of this, let's go and create our own pod. So Chris is now creating a new pod. It's defaulting it some information based on previous pods that he's created, but he can go ahead and personalize it, set it up how he wants. Chris is a big believer in the power of social media, so he chooses which channels he wants, and pod will automatically post his meeting information out to those channels so he doesn't have to, to stop and take the time to do that. He's choosing a location, and he's got his date and time, and now the important question is, Chris, are you gonna charge for your pod? It looks like that's a yes, but whoa, buddy, nobody's going to your pod, you're gonna be lonely. Oh, okay, that's a bit better, that's a bit better, I'd go for that. So now when Chris goes to launch his pod, the number that you're seeing up the top is the actual number of members we have in the downtown San Francisco area right now using our, our, our desktop application. We've given Chris the opportunity to help his pod stand out. So here, he's allowed to boost the pod, and he chooses to go ahead with that. And this is facilitating a transaction between Chris and Pod, our company, and for this, we're using in-app purchases. So go ahead, Chris. Chris has now boosted his pod, and I get out my handy-dandy little microphone. Who knew we'd be going back to this? And I can see Chris's pod on here. I like the price. I'm gonna go ahead and say I want to go this, go to this, and at the same time, Pod confirms my payment information. So Pod is facilitating a peer-to-peer -peer transaction between myself, a prospective attendee to this meeting, and to Chris. And just like many of you who used Uber, I did not get my wallet out of my pocket. Chris, please accept me, because we've got the gong and Chris just got paid. Thank you very much for your time.